Hey Bulldogs, let's see what's happening this week on Co Blue News. Kron puts together another Kicking It With Kay, John recaps the fall volleyball season, and Kai gives us a preview of this year's basketball season. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Hey, Bulldogs. I'm Nick Chaffee here of Dallas Rodriguez Vieira, and welcome back to Cold Blue Season. Well, you already know what it is by now. As we announced last week, the spring musical this year will be Beauty and the Beast. Auditions will take place in January, so start preparing. <coughs> uh, here, let me, let, me, let me get my singing voice ready. Here, I'll show it off right. It's, it's all right. You can oh, save oh, that okay. for auditions. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I agree, to be honest, though. Let's see if k -Ron finds anyone that probably sings a lot better than I would. What's up, Bulldogs? What's up, Bulldogs? What's up? What's up? What's up, Bulldogs? What's up, Bulldogs? I'm K. Ron Forbes, back this week with my new segment. As you can tell, we got something a little different because the intro's a little spicy. But this week, let's get a drum roll. What's that song? That's what this week's new segment is. So there might be some singing, some rapidly rap, dap, 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 some dancing. Who knows? Who knows what it's really going to be? But let's just get into it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here with Superintendent Hamilton. And we are going to play a game called What's That Song? So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to sing a song with the word that I give you, okay? Okay, lots of pressure. All right. Okay. okay. First word is fire. Uh oh. Fire. Fire? Uh, the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Okay. Okay, she got one point, one point. Okay, let's do another word. Uh, low. Okay. <laughs> Shorty got the maple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Got the whole club looking at her. She hit the flow. Okay, there go the word. Okay. Love. Love, I love you. You love me. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next word, money. Money. Okay. Uh, let's see. Money. Money. Oh no. Money. This should be easy. You make a lot of money. <laughs> money. Oh no. This should be an easy one. Let's see. Money. Time is up. <laughs> you have 10 seconds to sing the song with the word that I give you, okay? It has to be in that song. Okay. Okay. First word is close. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of you. Okay. <laughs> Next word, Tim's. I was walking in the rain with my Tim's on, stepping <laughs> over butters full of pain. It's, it's a big storm. Thirteen. <laughs> Okay, she ate it. Uh -huh. First word, low. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Tims. Tims? I was walking in the rain with my Tims on, stepping over puddles full of pain. It's, it's a big storm. storm. 13, 13 on my bow means it's, it's a big storm. storm. In the club, in the club let it make it. Okay, so y'all did good. Y'all did good. Okay, some of y'all could have done a little better. Next week, next week though. Fair, fair. Okay, next week we're gonna do a little better. Okay, okay. So it's been K Ron back to you in the studio. I'm out. Mic drop. Psych. Thank you, Kron. It was a great watch to see those who, again, probably sing a lot better than me. And if you like singing and music, you're probably on Instagram following your favorite artists. Conveniently, we are on Instagram too. I know, it's insane. On Instagram and Facebook, follow us at CoBlueHMHS to find the daily lunch, news posts, and many more events coming in the future. 
Speaking of events coming in the future. Yo, yo, you know, we segue pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, okay. the National Junior Honor Society will meet on Tuesday the 14th at 7.15 a.m. in Miss Grant's room. All members should be in attendance. There are also members of another prestigious group this month. The students of the month! Let's see who made it. Congratulations to sixth grade winner Christopher Joyce, Evolu from eighth grade. And let's give a special shout out to seventh grade winner Anthony Sibos, an honorary member of Code Blue. Nice work volunteering with HCAM. Another special shout out to the Circle of Excellence winners. Ian Nightingale and Rolisha St. Jean from grade 6, Lucy Baxter and Isabella Caldwell from grade 7, and Ayla Bautista and Dylan Fox from 8th grade. Congratulations to all of those who are on the list. Today's winners, please be sure to stop by Ms. Troya's room C-125 to pick up your certificate and prize. Staff is always on the lookout for next month's winners, so you too have the chance to be a student of the month if you work your hardest. These students aren't the only people who work their hardest. We'll take it to John Silipino now, who covers the volleyball team's hard work, and to what they say is the best team they've ever had. The girls' volleyball team was on a consistent run this year with 18 wins and 4 losses. While the record indicates a strong season, the team had to face their hardest challenges head-on during the season to break through and show that they could compete at a high level. I'd say like just finding a way to work together early on was kind of tough. We kind of went through probably 4 or 5 games before we really started meshing and finding a system that worked for us. I think the biggest challenge was communication. Um, we, we have a little ha bit hard time in our communication during the uh, games. Um, it, but we, we had overcome it. The veteran laden team managed their challenge as well to secure their spot in the state tournament. Um, it felt great to get into the tournament. A lot of people didn't get a chance to, so for me to be able to say I got into it, whether if we won or lost the first round in, it was just really exciting. It was exciting. It was uh, with the new layout. Was We had no idea who we were going to end up playing because the teams were coming from all over the place, so we ended up drawing a really good team from out by Worcester. So it was kind of tough in that game, but getting there and preparing for it the week after the regular season is always fun. After winning to get to the tournament, it was really great and like we were really satisfied with the place. But then when it comes to that day, uh, we were pretty hyped, but then it, will, it ended up like unexpected. But I think we did pretty well for the season. Some wins and losses is all that matters, but the team has really improved their skill and is sad that the season has come to an end. The last thing I'd like to say about the season is that um, I'm glad we went as far as we did and I improved from the beginning to the end. I'm like actually crazy on spiking the ball, so I just can't wait for the next season to come through. Yeah, I would definitely miss playing volleyball team because I think this is the best season I've ever had so far and they're really the best teammates that I've ever had chemistry wise. And of course, we go over with different positions that I've never encountered yet, but it did pretty well. Yeah, we had seven seniors and they all played kind of a key role, especially this season. It was, we had a good mesh of like seniors and juniors and underclassmen. So they'll all be missed, but I think our, um, probably our big three leadership wise, were probably Shannon Esperon, Brianna Sullivan, and uh, Lauren Gideon were true big leaders for us on the court and off the court whether it was at practice or during games so like those are just going to be big shoes to fill for the kids next year i just want to thank uh christina for coaching us this year and she's been my inspiration for the whole volleyball season like she motivates me a lot while many players who are graduating on the roster are leaving, Coach Anderson hopes that the remaining team of enthusiastic players will keep their legacy going. The team hopes to continue to have more successful seasons in the years to come. This has been John Silipino reporting for Code Blue News. See you next time. Now, back to you in the studio. Thanks, John. Attention, juniors. Class dues are still due. 
If, remember, if you want to attend prom, these must be paid. And if you have any prom ideas, please email them to Ms. F or talk to other class officers. And seniors, literally three quarters of the class literally just got snapped off the privilege list. So please make sure you pay your freshman and sophomore dues by December 17th to return to that list. Check the Google Classroom for the rest of the dates in terms of dues. How exciting. I know it is. It's so fun. We'll keep that excitement going because it's officially basketball season now. Yesterday, the girls' varsity basketball team faced a close loss 41-36 against South Shore Book Tech. And the boys' varsity team took the win against South Shore Christian Academy 63-14. Yay, Bulldogs! Let's see Kai's preview and see what else is to come for the HMHS basketball teams. With fall sports on the back burner, players are eager to lace up their sneakers and prepare for this upcoming basketball season. Um, I'm looking forward to winning games, improving, and dropping some buckets off. I do have a goal of hitting another double-double, so I'm just waiting for that to happen. Um, playing with my teammates, having fun at practice, and hopefully winning games. I'm looking forward to playing with my teammates again. It's the third year, so we got to get it right. Over the years, we've seen both basketball teams put up a fight in each and every game. Even when they felt like giving up, the Holbrook Bulldogs never quit. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of work to do before the season goes, but I feel like this team has a lot of potential. Um, with some dedication and a lot of practice, we could possibly be, but as of at the moment right now, not really. We do have some inexperienced players and some people having their first time playing basketball, so just we just need a lot of practice to get there. While both basketball teams agree they have areas that need improvement, they're still confident in themselves and their team and are excited to see what's to come for this upcoming winter season. Uh, we gotta box out more, we gotta get those rebounds, and yeah, work together. I'm just looking forward to playing with a brand new team, you know, we got a lot of young stars, so looking forward to it. This season, we could uh, move on the ball movement, and definitely playing together and hitting our shots. This has been Kai Forbes for Code Blue News. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Kai. The Hunger Games have officially ended, and we have the results. Which grade is this year's victor? Drum roll, please. The winning grade for this year's Hunger Games is grade seven. Congratulations to the winner and thank you to all of the middle schoolers for participating in this competition. We were able to collect over 2,000 food items, which is amazing. You guys supported a great cause and should all be very proud of that. We'd also like to give a special shout out to Mrs. Troya and her math classes as they took on a Hunger Games of their own to increase participation. We appreciate all the efforts put towards a good cause and a special congratulations to our period one class for collecting the most. To close off the show, we're going to plug one more thing, and no, it isn't my Instagram. Two weeks from now marks the last week before break, which means it's the time again for the Holiday Spirit Week to kick off. It sure is. Monday is Merry Monday. Bring an ugly sweater. Dress as Olaf. That would be interesting. And just be merry. Tuesday is Teleport to 2022 Tuesday. Although I'd argue it should be called Time Travel to 2022 Tuesday. Dress in the fit you see yourself wearing in 2022. Wednesday is Winter Wonderland Wednesday. On this day, you are winter. Wear your best all-white outfit. Finally, Thursday is PJ Thursday. Literally, wear pajamas and enjoy the half day. That wraps up this week's show. I'm Dalis Rodriguez-Vira. And I'm Nick Choppy. We'll see you next Friday.